I have so many of them, it's crazy. All right, so what brings you out here today? What brings us here, Simon? Uh, Mama. <laughs> Mama and Dada. Yes, but why did we come here? For, for, for the solar eclipse. For the solar eclipse. Yeah. yeah. Are y'all from Burlington? No, where are we from, Simon? Boston. 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 And is this your first eclipse yeah. that you're seeing? Yeah, yeah. his first <laughs> eclipse. My second eclipse. Your second eclipse. And where was the first time you saw an eclipse? We were out in Oregon. Oregon. In 2017. Great. It was an awesome experience. Yeah, like nothing I've ever seen but before. And totally yeah. something I wanted to share with him. <laughs> now we got the chance. It is beautiful. Um, and then, so the next eclipse that's going to be here in New England is not until 2044, I think. Mm -hmm. And so, what do you think the world will be like then? Well, hopefully we're still here. Like, that would be nice. If the world is still here in 2046, then, uh, well, I, I honestly don't know. I, I try not to think that far ahead. Hopefully we'll all be happy, healthy, and we'll be here. <laughs> awesome, y'all. Well, I hope you enjoyed the eclipse. Thank you so much. Hey, uh.
Why are you here today? <laughs> well, I'm here uh, as the new mayor's communications director. And, uh, you know, we're six days in the office, and uh, this is an exciting event to have so many people coming into Burlington, and uh, so much planning and preparation went into it. So it's just really exciting to see all of these efforts come together uh, in support of uh, everyone having a great experience. Is this your first solar eclipse? It is, yep. Yeah. Is there anything that you are expecting to see? I'm not really sure what to expect. I've heard from uh, various folks who have experienced a total solar eclipse and it uh, sounds like a pretty transformative experience. So uh, I won't say my hopes are too high, but uh, I'm definitely excited to, to see what it's like. And okay, well, this is kind of, do you believe the earth is flat? No. Okay, I was going to see because I was like, well, I was going to ask you if this experience might change that, those opinions, but um, this might turn into a more... Uh, uh, so the next solar eclipse that's going to be in Burlington in 20 years, what do you think Burlington will be like? That's a great question. You know, I think we'll have a pretty good playbook for how to plan for... Uh, extra visitors, and uh, that's a major credit to the city team. And um, you know, I think uh, we'll certainly be a bigger city in in 20 years. So it'll be interesting to see just sort of how the city changes in that time. Awesome, thank you. Yeah. Hi again. We're back uh, for a midday um, briefing on what's been going. But I have to say again, Mayor Emma Mulvaney Scanic. It's been going really smoothly, and I've been out uh, touring the waterfront park. We were over at Roosevelt Park, um, down to Echo and whatnot, and people are just so upbeat. We have visitors from all over the place. I heard someone was from England um, here visiting, and there's just uh, such a, again, as I said this this morning, vibrancy and optimism about this day, this event, and over at Roosevelt, this is where I think all the local, some of the places that the locals are really convened, they're about to pump up the, the uh, bouncy house, which will be the call to all the children who are not in school today to come into Roosevelt Park and partake in all the really great, vibrant things that the Parks Department has set up there. Uh, I've met with Parks um, staff who are over there right now. Again, just optimism and excitement about what a cool day this is, an opportunity. Uh, Parks was also saying Roosevelt Park's a great place for folks who might be overstimulated with large crowds because it really has a much chiller vibe over that way. Um, so I encourage folks who might want to have that experience to check out Roosevelt Park. Um, and it is really filling up here at Waterfront Park, which is exciting. Uh, I think we're seeing a lot of the tourists down in this part of the city, uh, which is a whole wonderful thing to experience as well, just how excited people are. Um, and uh, I just people are just really excited. I've met people from Boston and England and other places. So happy to answer any questions. I'll also let my um, colleagues here uh, talk a little bit about from BCA and the, um, our business and workforce development uh, departments talk a little bit about what they've been seeing and, and hearing from folks in the community. Doreen, you want to go? How long have you been planning for this? And it has been over a year and something that brought all of us together who work as department heads and fellow colleagues within the city trying to imagine everything we are going to need to know for this day and to be able first and foremost to provide for the safety and security of everyone in our community and everyone that we are welcoming and we have the largest welcome mat thrown out for people all over the world who are visiting here and it's thrilling but it also shows the importance of planning because if you take the time, bring everybody together, build on your strengths as a community, then a day like this just kind of does go as smooth as it is going. So it's lovely to be out there. There's optimism as uh, our mayor referred to. There's really a gentleness in people and kindness and like however I can help you and people are really stretching, I feel that. Um, I was parking cars earlier this morning when we needed a few extra people to help out in the early hours and people were just waiting and their turn and nobody pushing ahead and no anxiety and just, you know, very much picking up the Burlington vibe of take care of your neighbor, take care of your friends, feel the joy of this event um, and feel the happiness of this community and the welcoming that's here. So. It's both working as a team, but also uplifting all of our community members and organizations and retail businesses and everyone who has gone the extra mile 
to make this day work. So, pretty lovely out there. I know you've been out there, so having the same experience I am. Hi, I'm Cara El Nasrawi, Director of Business and Workforce Development for the city. Um, as you probably all know, this will be an important uh, day or weekend for our economy. We, are, we have more guests in town than we normally do. Um, we are, uh, as you know, most of the area hotels had a two-night minimum, so as opposed to some of our other large events, um, like the 3rd of July fireworks, we are anticipating guests will be here for a few days. Um, we already see them in our stores and our restaurants, um, so we're really excited about that. Just a reminder, over 90% of the businesses in Burlington are locally owned, so these are our friends and neighbors who are um, hopefully having a prosperous weekend for themselves and their families. Um, so we're really excited about that. We're not going to know any true numbers about this until we get some of our local option tax and gross receipts tax numbers back. So it might be a little bit, uh, a few weeks before we really see that impact. But I think um, anecdotally and visually we can see it already happening. Thank you. Okay. Any questions? Any pinch points, issues, anything like that happening right now? No, everything is running smoothly. Uh, we still have parking on 127 still available at this point. Uh, as we reported this morning, um, we have the parking garages and whatnot are already full, but that was a, as of a couple hours ago. So everything is still running smoothly and we still have space for folks to come down and park on 127 and enjoy Burlington. Sorry, my name is Toshi Inaba. I work for Japanese News Thanks and, for being uh, here. Thank you for having me. And you already mentioned a little bit, but uh, how is it to have like, you estimate 50,000 visitors, and uh, how is it to have uh, like as many as the city's population? Yeah, and for yourself, of course. as a mayor, personally. Yeah. Well, this is my uh, my sixth day on the job. It's been one week, so it's pretty wild to host uh, the help host, I should say such a big celebration and I'm really grateful we have such beautiful weather which has helped really I think boost our numbers up to 50,000 who knows it might be even more than that at some point uh, it is a doubling of the size of Burlington but as we heard earlier I'm so proud of the city and all the departments the staff and the department heads doing so much really important planning ahead uh, that meant for us to it enabled us to have a really smooth day today so that we are ready to welcome 50,000 people um, as well as to really support our local residents also engaging and enjoying this day I was at a park earlier where I think more locals will will celebrate and we are making sure everyone has the glasses they need they can have the fun they need there's no school today and no child care today in the city of Burlington so I've seen a lot of folks who are in my kids classes and whatnot just out in the neighborhood enjoying the vibrancy. We even went by, um, when I live in the Old North End, and went by Tea Rugs, uh, which is a local bar for the locals, if you know Tea Rugs, and they're out grilling and having a great time. So people are really making this the joyous event that we're hoping it to be, both locals and our visitors. Yeah. Anything else? This moment. Yeah. It's away from the earth. You don't see it because the moon is tidally locked with the earth. But there is no single dark side to the moon. There is light side and dark side, and those switch around as the moon spins. It spins once every uh, 27 days or so, as it will be Got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Myth busted. All right, so what else are we looking for today, Doc? Also, we're going to look for, as those uh, Bailey beads start to disappear, the last one is going to form what we call a diamond ring. Uh, so we'll see just a band of light going around the edge of the sun and maybe a sparkling diamond on one side. Every now and then we'll see a double diamond ring, so keep your eyes out, we might get lucky and see a double diamond ring. And when that double diamond ring or single diamond ring disappears, that's when we enter totality, also called second contact. And after that disappears, we will let you know that you have three minutes and 14 seconds to oh. enjoy that totality and it'll be safe during that time and only during that time to look at the sun without your eclipse glasses on. I've got to say I've never seen thousands of people come together to share a moment in which we can't look at what we came to see. <laughs> well if you came to see the moon today uh, Maybe a weird day for you. <laughs> you came to see it Sunday today. Though so you're going to see your star in a new special way 
with any luck, that haze, uh, I don't know what's happening up there with the haze, but uh, yep, you still visible. See, it's still kind of hazy. Well, there's a chance we might get to see the solar corona. All right, it is 324. 324 down. 324. Two minutes left. I've got my timer out. Get a time for our three minutes and 14 seconds. Also, keep an eye out once totality starts. The sun is having a special time right now. It is very close to solar maximum. So the sun goes through these cycles. Every 11 years, the north side of the sun flips to the south side of the sun, at least magnetically. So the north magnetic pole becomes the south magnetic pole, and vice versa. And during that time, there's much increased sunspot activity. And that's what's going on right now. In fact, I saw through someone's uh, telescope not long ago, there's a big fat sunspot right in the middle of the sun right day, today. Yeah, the telescope right behind us. It's a... Uh... I don't know why I try to put these glasses on and look out in front of me. The sun's over there. <laughs> there's a little black spot on the sun today. Dr. Kushner, we are just a minute out. A minute out. What are some final things? What are some final things? It looks like it's coming! All right. I have 325. I have 325. We're going to look for that red chromosphere peeking around. We might even see a solar flare if we're lucky. I think I see the corona despite those clouds. Oh my god, it's so amazing. This is breathtaking, isn't it? Oh my god, so beautiful. So tell us what's happening now, Doc. So we're looking at the, the K corona and the F corona, so that's light scattered by electrons in a giant field of plasma that's coming off the sun. Make it a enormous nuclear power plant out there. In these three minutes and 14 seconds, the sun will be burning through 750 million tons, converting that all into energy for us. That's the energy that keeps us alive, that makes our world, that makes life. I used to watch like TV back when they would always have shows about eclipses and it would get this dark and I never believed this would really happen. But wow, this is amazing. If you are celebrating a birthday today, happy birthday. Happy birthday to Victor. Happy birthday to my son, Miles, who's turning 11. We've got, oh, what? We've got a, I'm pretty sure I see a, a prominence down at the bottom of the sun there, on the south side. Um, I have 43 seconds left. Does anybody see Jupiter? Yeah, up there in the sky, near the near the uh, near the zenith. I see Jupiter. Near next to Jupiter is a comet called Pons Brooks. I do not see Pons Brooks. That's okay. Yes, hopefully it stays far, far away. 
It's so breathtaking, you know, even oh. though even Vermont, it gets dark this time of the day, up until daylight savings. Oh, timer stopped. I see Venus, time to put those glasses back on. Bro. That is so amazing. That is so worth it. Holy oh, yeah. God. And just a little tiny bit of the sun peeking out on the south side, and it's already super bright. Aren't y'all glad you came out for this? If you, are, if you are getting married today, if you are getting engaged today, we wish you a lifetime of happiness and cosmic significance. Right now down here we have, uh, let me see, probably about a good six or 7,000 people down here in the park, plus an additional 500 up in Battery Park. Battery Park people, make some noise! And NASA's just launched its second sounding rocket off to study the ionosphere. <laughs> and the center is heading over to, it's just reaching Maine. Hi! Hi! So, what were you all here to do today? We were here to watch the eclipse. Yeah, and it. and so how was the eclipse? Amazing. It was really cool. Breathtaking. It got really cold and it was still kind of light out and it got crazy. totally dark. You take your glasses off and it was like darker and I was like, what the heck? It was really cool. And totality was really cool and I thought it was really fun when they were narrating it as well. Yeah, and yeah. is and this your first cool. eclipse? Yeah. Well, yeah. First total. Eclipse. Yeah. First total eclipse. I saw the 2017 one from my driveway. I didn't. I was working. Yeah. So yeah, my first. Eclipse. How how did it differ being a total eclipse from a partial? It was crazy. Like the ring around it. It got it. fully dark, Insane. and we got to see the Insane. whole thing. And it was. And built you could up. take your glasses off, and it was just like. Yeah. yeah. I didn't want it to go away, kind of. After watching the eclipse, do you have any beliefs that the Earth is flat? Watch the videos and like I'm I'm hearing them out, but no, I don't think I'm not gonna admit that publicly. I'm not a flat earther. Yeah, I don't I don't All know. Alright, so the next eclipse will be in twenty years. Where do you think you'll be in twenty years? That's Maybe I'll visit. I don't know. Maybe I'll Great visit or I'll go somewhere. <laughs> but if I'm not around No, yeah. I'll try. I think it'd be cool to be here. Would we you talked still about it. Would we were you like, still be looking to uh, watch it? Like, I would have to if I can. If, I, if it like was close by, I wouldn't go to extreme heights to watch. I it. wouldn't fly, but I would drive. Like, yeah, if I could. Yeah. Well, thank you, y'all. Yeah. Here. Uh, I came to enjoy the experience with my friends. Yeah. And was this your first eclipse? Yeah. Yeah. When was there anything that surprised you when you saw it? I mean, I thought that people weren't supposed to like uh, have their phones out and recording it, but that was pretty surprising because I saw people doing it all the time. So. And, um, yeah, and, like, I don't know, did, was there anything that really, um, really surprised you from when you, like, from when you heard about it and then when you saw it, you're like, oh, this either makes sense or is this is not what you were expecting? I didn't expect it to, like, get so cold so quick. Yeah. Yeah, it was very surprising for me. Yeah, and it got dark and it looked, it looked yeah, kind of cool. Yeah, and then it got light real quick again, so I, that was pretty confusing. Yeah? Yeah. And would you, so the next eclipse is in about 20 years. Would you, are you interested in seeing another eclipse? Definitely. And you want to. That was an awesome experience. Yeah, well, awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. And I hope you have a good day.